Clue is the classic game of whodunit that we all played as kids. For those of us who prefer to play games correctly, those happy memories might be tainted by the fact that we were probably playing it wrong. Today, I'm going to share three rules with you that you are probably playing incorrectly, and a house rule that you might just want to try here today on Legendary Tactics. Games like Clue have become part of the culture, where everyone just knows how to play by osmosis. But as with a game of telephone, inaccuracies have a way of creeping in, and there is no exception here. And because no one ever actually reads the rules to these classic games, things don't ever get corrected. Fear not, loyal viewer, as I set things straight on three small rules you might not have heard of before. The first rule you're probably getting wrong involves movement. While it might be obvious to some that two pieces cannot be in the same space at the same time, did you know that you are not allowed to pass through another player's piece? This can have implications, particularly if one player is standing directly in front of a door, effectively blocking the entrance for other players. Because of the roll and move mechanic, the strategic implications of this are limited, but it is something to keep in mind if you are looking to obstruct your opponents. The second rule that you likely didn't know, again, involves movement. While you probably knew that you can't move diagonally, did you know that you are not allowed to move your token so as to cross over a space twice in the same turn? While this rule certainly has limited impact in terms of gameplay, it does dissuade players from making roundabout twisty turns that might be disruptive to the game, like moving deliberately to repeatedly block a door, for example. The third rule that a lot of players misplay is in regards to making the final accusation, when you think you've solved the case. Contrary to popular belief, you don't need to be in the same room as the accused or even in the room where you believe the crime occurred. And you can make a suggestion and an accusation in the same turn. The final accusation though can be made anywhere and anytime on your turn. If you get the accusation wrong, you can't move anymore, except if you are blocking a doorway. In that case, your token enters that doorway's room. Weird how every rule here referenced blocking doorways, isn't it? And now for the house rule that I mentioned earlier, that you might want to give a try. If the final accusation turns out to be both correct and involves a character that has been taken by a player in the game, it is time for that player to go all Jason Voorhees. True to their nature, murderers don't like being found out, and they don't like to leave any witnesses behind. The player that controls the character that has been accurately accused now goes on a rampage. Because this involves an amped up state, the murderer gets to roll twice each turn. That player's goal is now to land on the same space as every other player's token in a hallway, thereby murdering them too. If the killer ends up in a room with a potential victim, the killer must name who they're going after if there's more than one option, and then each rolls a die. The killer makes another victim if his or her die roll is higher, otherwise the potential victim lives on, at least for the moment. If the killer manages to dispose of all the witnesses, that player wins, having made up a believable alibi to tell the police. And with no one there to contradict them, who's to say where the truth lies? The other players need to make a mad scramble to escape the house to tell the police. They can do this via the hall. Entering the hall is one move and leaving by the front door there is another. Any players that successfully escaped out the front door win the game. I think this variant makes the game a little more like Betrayal at House on the Hill. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below and take a moment while you're there to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and be safe out there. This is Legendary Tactics.